Namaste! Grand Rising, Big Cat. Welcome or welcome back to Frequency Phoenix 555. For your message, or messages. Come in! Come on! I've got intel. Recon is a foot. Yes. Today, darling dears, is the what? The 26th of May, 2023. Mm-hmm. The numerology of it goes down to a 20. 20 is the number of judgment, the judgment card in tarot, darling dears. It speaks about karma being afoot for some. It also speaks about a life-changing, I heard the word truth, a life-changing truth is about to be revealed. This truth is going to be tied to possibly even a partner wanting to return to you. Could be a friend, family member, progeny, whatever the, the paradigm is for you, darling dear. But they're going to find you, a new, find you at a new stage in life. This is also about forgiving, darling dears. The energy of the um, judgment card is about forgiveness in order to be reborn, evolved. But it's an unavoidable change that's coming towards you. Going, breaking down the numerology even further, it goes to a number two. So today, darling dears, you are going to be, or you will be meeting the power behind the throne, darling dears. Vacative. Soul tribe, who knows? But you have to have what? Your third eye buffed up to the biggest shine. Why? Because we do the boozy banners round here. Eyes on everyone. Everyone gets investigated. Right, and we've got the what the edges, the hairline for controversy, not at this stage of the game, and not easily invited in. Mm -hmm. Yes, darling, dears, the energy of the two it speaks about partnerships as well as unity. Um, the two is ruled by the moon, so it's something that is being guided to you, something that is to do with relationships, your emotions, darling, dears. The moon rules Pisces as well as Cancer energy. It speaks about coming into some kind of balance for others. It's the partnership, possibly even what? The unity of a contract, signing of a deal, darling dears. Don't forget to get the fine print red, right? Because you don't want it on the back end without the Vaseline. Mm -hmm. The energy of the two, as I was saying, is ruled by the moon. The moon rules um, your emotional natures. It's about you using your instinct, darling dears, especially if um, certain memories come up, certain feelings. Use your instinct to understand that everything is what? Exactly where it's meant to be. You're going to be feeling a little bit restless at this moment in time. It's best to use your energy in a productive way. Um, some kind of physical outlet. Um, use your brain matter, darling dears. Get your journaling, get your business plans on, your, your higher educations. But it's about you keeping yourself busy, mindfully keeping yourself busy today, darling dears. Mm -hmm. The planetary energy is the moon enters Virgo. This calls for what? Routine maintenance, which is highlighted for um, your technology, your car, your body and your home. As I was saying with the numerology, it's about the overhaul, darling dears. Mm-hmm. You have to remember when this truth, something is about to be revealed. It's like blown out of the water, right? It's about you keeping your um, your mindset right, darling dear. That will be your greatest weapon in any circumstance, whether friend or foe, keeping your mindset. Mm -hmm. And sometimes keeping that mindset means what? Silence. Because silence will get, get you attention, darling dear. Silence and assumption, darling dear. They'll be making an ass of you and themselves if they're assuming their assumptions. Mm -hmm. This is the backwards version of Hercule Poirot, darling dears. Mm -hmm. Because you have to also realise that silence is also an obvious answer. Just like no. No is a full sentence. Mm hmm 
Silence uses non-verbal language, darling dear, a powerful way of communication. Without what? Going to prison, darling dear. Because we, you'll be with R. Kelly and the rest of the prisoners. And Akon said they're not letting no one out. Mm -hmm. Right, look what's on the base of this deck. Decisions to make. Okay, let's get the overall ancestral message. I'm going to use life lessons. Give it a good shifty to wake up the deck. This truth, darling, dear, somebody, somebody wanted you not to see the truth of yourself, the truth of their situation. Someone would like to speak to you to tell you about things that's happened to them or occurred in their situation. Since you've been gone, darling, dear, getting your nutrition on, becoming the builder, the co-creator of your world, darling, dears. Yes, some of you are teachers, you're wise, darling, dear. Maybe you're teaching about nutrition, could be yoga, could be body work, you could be a yoga instructor. I heard swimming, someone is a swimming teacher, but it also speaks about um, this transformation that you've made in your life, darling, dear. Some of you have um, a following, maybe you teach. You teach people how to rebuild, darling, dear, after what? Going through the Guatanimo Bay of negative cycles, as people realize themselves understanding balancing what you eat as well as you hear as well as what you're around those energies are very important tesla said mm -hmm. energy vibration and frequency is what puts you into manifestation mode darling dear and you indeed are in said mode and being watched by the hood looking alfalfas who are dumb as a crumb darling dear looking from the inside out this also speaks about what First they, they gossiped and laughed, then they took note, now they're inspired by this new change in you. They seek you here, there and everywhere. You're like Kaiser Soze without the chelation, darling dear. Yeah, paying close attention to what you've got going on. Mm -hmm. But the builder also could represent um, um, a benefactor. Maybe somebody wants to help you build your foundation. Maybe somebody sees you as a wise teacher. They like the way you've put your 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 cornerstone that the builder refused together, darling dear. And you've made a foundation for yourself. Maybe somebody wants to see you as an investment, wants to invest in your business, your time, your energies. Maybe putting your wise teachings down into books, darling dears, webinars, podcasts. Yeah, it's about using your natural God-given skills, darling dears, to build your foundation from the ground up. A great truth is about to be revealed, darling dear, but you are being supported by your ancestral team. Spirit is always supporting you. You've got the caduceus, caduceus that talks about the balance that is created in your life because of this new beginning that you foretold for yourself and you're living it, darling dear. Mm -hmm. You understood the assignment. Practice makes perfect. Yeah, something that you've been working on for some time, darling dear, from fledgling stage. You are a master at this, a master of change. Seeing a bee for butterfly on here. The bee is also for Bacana. Bacana is represented in the runestones, right? But in the tarot, it's the empress growth, darling dear. It also speaks about the abundance which you're calling into your life. This does not necessarily mean just money. Skrilla.com. It's the abundance of knowledge. It's the abundance of inner peace. This is you looking sexy, darling. This as you make healthier choices for your body, your mind, your spirit. But this is building from the ground up, darling. This. This is knowing the path and walking the path. Yeah. Come through, Morpheus. Posh. Clap. Yes, baby. You're getting your matrix on. And you're being supported by your ancestral team. Yeah. Because practice makes perfect. They see the due diligence that you've done. And you have to understand. Revelation 3.7. No man can close a door that the Most High Spirit has opened for you, darling dears. Sending in your ancestral team, your security to ensure that you stay on your path. But bearing in mind, you have free will to choose the path that you want. But you're doing fabulous, gorgeous and lovely at this moment in time. Absolutely fabulous. Mm -hmm. Let's see what the calm club says. 
quick message for the big cats as we press on at a hot trot. This one. What's this? Guarded. You're self-sufficient at this moment in time and extremely resourceful. You've overcome difficult situations. Yeah, this is a cactus. Cactuses are prickly, but cactus can survive in the most arid of temperatures, darling dears. You've become the whole tree, darling dear, right? It also speaks about you climbing. What did I say? Social climbing or being put in a position where you will be social climbing, darling dear. This is a, the stable foundation you've created from the wisdom you're teaching, darling dears. You've been seen. You've been seen. And you look like an earth angel to someone, darling dears. Yeah, decisions again. Decisions as we started in the beginning of the reading. Look, decisions to make again. Two different random decks, blood. Yeah, you've outgrown your previous circumstance. You understood the shade, darling dear. But you also created the shade when you guarded yourself and became self-sufficient. Learned new teachings and you are in a position to be, or you are, have mastered something this is one of the great truths that are about to be revealed. You've, you're a master at something, darling India. Split the deck. Yeah, all eyes on you, but your third eye is buffed up to a shine, darling India. A big shine. Many are putting the evil eye on you, wanting you to fail. Mm -hmm. But you are protected. Cactus energy, protected by your ancestral team. You've got the support you truly desire, as well as need. Many of people are saying you're lucky, Kentucky. Luck? Luck? Listen, big cat. These opportunities come to you not because of luck. It's something that is in you, not on you. You understood the assignment. The assignment of what? Turning mildew into barbecue, darling dears. You did it fabulous, gorgeous and lovely. Mm -hmm. You came the foundation, but you've protected yourself up to this point, darling dear. And you've done a good job. You've gained wisdom and understanding, become extremely resourceful. And this has created a stable foundation. The cornerstone that the builder refused becomes the what? The foundation of heavy retaining. Fist bump. Love it. I don't hate it. Mm-hmm. This is gorgeous, darling dears. Dare I split the look? Again, practice makes perfect. Three times, darling dears. And you know I love a throuple. Not the unsigned up one for darling dears. Not the sneaky genitalia watuzi. I'm talking about the throuple, the 369 of Tesla, who said energy, vibration and frequency is the key. Just like Socrates said, the key to the universe is what? Knowing thyself. Wisdom is for the wise, darling dear. Mm -hmm. And reputation is everything. Law number five of the 48 laws of power. Law number um. Are we going to go? Yes, we are. We're going to get this back. I'll use this in a while. Yeah, law number 10 is to avoid the unlucky and the unhappy. Base of the deck, moving on from the traumatic and the drama filled, right? A highly and tumultuous situations. This is learning to walk alone. Look, one set of footprints because you was being carried by the Most High. Eight of Cups in the upright. I might add, it speaks about you having had to restart your life in for others this is travel you'll be traveling over the next few days darling dears possibly in pronto travel why because you've been recognized for your teachings for your works darling dears and you'll be traveling you're going to be about to be supported in a big way some of you are going to be supported in your spiritual works darling dears you pull cards on yourself and it's been told to you by many a tarot or oracle reader that this is the direction that you're going in darling dears absolutely love it I don't hate it. Mm -hmm. The pink is the blend of the white and the red. It speaks about the vit vitality and the strength you harness, darling dear. Continue, continue to be de um, determined and passionate about your desires, right? The white is the light of the unconscious. This is the new beginning that you truly deserve. So it was written, so shall it be. And as I said, no man can close a door that the Most High has opened for you, darling dears. The body work, paying attention. Maybe you're getting some kind of tribal tattoo, but you're paying attention to your to your temple, exercising the right energies around you. Remember, energy, vibration, and frequency is what brings in all of the what true wisdom. Many of you need to get grounded, darling. Get to a tree, hug a tree, stat. 
This is leaving off the emotional state behind, not wanting to be governed governed by your emotions to make what? Life decisions. Because you, you shouldn't, you've done that before. Made life decisions on temporary emotions. And look where it got you. I know, big cat, I was there. A dummy bat, doing dummy bat, shiz my e, people pleaser. Listen, major side eye, come through Nurse John. Posh, clap, yeah. Mm-hmm. Messages for the big cat as they're what rolling. And rest in power to Tina Turner, who came through with the what's love got to do with it, her biggest single. Ooh. Look at this. Major arcanas, darling dear, fall as well as the tower. You trusted yourself, darling dear, taking this leap of faith. This is a new beginning for you. It also speaks about there's a new partner, someone coming through, darling dear, whether to support you, whether, well, it's going to be support either way, darling dear. This is major arcana. This is when divine takes a hand in your life because your hard efforts have paid off, darling dears. What did I say? Mm-hmm. Moon energy, high priestess energy on its face. Yeah, moving away. You took a leap of faith and moved away from the secret keepers, right? And it's also saying that no one has a secret for you. You, any, Nobody can't tell your life the way you tell your life. And this is about you, what? Controlling the narrative, darling dear. Tower moment. Created a lot of tower moments for many, darling dears. Many that didn't believe you could fly. Well, guess what? You're a flying cat now. I bex. Mm-hmm. No, not falling back from any crack. Six of Swords, you're living rent-free in many a mind, darling dear. Many people that wish bad things on you, we already saw the evil eye being chucked at you, darling dear. They're chucking it at you. Why? Because you moved on. This is the armed um, chariot card. Yeah, you moved on from a situation where they're still stuck. They're still stuck wishing and hoping, Major Arcana. They're stuck in their tiny minds, living out the drudgerous life that they thought they thought you was going to end up with. Oh, mate. You trusted in the unseen. And you said, feet don't fail me now. You chose a different, a different path when you understood the assignment. The assignment is to what? Be the best version of yourself, which you are being, right? Which you're being recognized for. This is, you're going viral. Somebody's about to go viral. Good golly and gosh, solar plexus energy. Your confidence, darling, your leadership role. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Solar plexus represents your social identity, darling dears. Right? Gut feeling. Mm-hmm. You have more of a sense of control. This is a forward movement for you, darling dears. Forwards, never backwards. This is moving away from those that lack um self-esteem, self-worth, anxiety, right? Not picking up on other energies. Because you became the tower moment in your own life when you became what? Resourceful, self-sufficient, darling dear. Protected as well as guarded. Mm -hmm. And chose wisdom. Wisdom over what? Lies. Subterfuge and bull swanky, darling dears. Wisdom over what situations that are not healing. But those same situations are still watching everything you do. They're watching you bend the matrix and some are going to see some go viral. Wow. Love it. The solar plex is rule. Yes, thank you, Archangel Michael. Reminding me of who run things over here. Archangel Michael, darling dears. Big Cat Leo energy. Mm -hmm. Um... Leo represents, um, well, the solar plexus represents Wednesday. So Wednesday is very important for you, darling dears. It also speaks about communication and planning for some is going to be going down on Wednesday. Something major, which is going to create a sudden change in your life. That the shady ones, listen, if you was living rent free, looks like you've built a whole what? Duplex, darling dear, in their cranium. Mm -hmm. Listen. You're about to go viral. Look. 
Oh, kiss the truth, roof. Five of swords. No longer what? Getting into the passive aggressive, darling dear. Three of wands. Your goals, darling dears. Your dreams, your visions are coming to pass. Love it. Equal give and take. You was given to so many. And now it's time for you to what? Receive, darling dears. Like this, the universe is about to bless you. Five of Swords speaks about, yeah, you know people are talking. You know they're talking, but they can't touch this. Three of Wands, darling dears. You took the lead in your life when you took this leap of faith and you're going viral. Or you're already viral in their craniums. Mm -hmm. Nine of Pentacles. Many people's minds are on you. What does 50 Cent says? Many men wish death on me. Oh yes, they do. They want you to go down Bobby Brown and they're watching you. They would like you to be stuck in prison or dodo dead, darling dear. Yeah, the hopeless and the unhappy, the unlucky, darling dears. Soul's energy on its face, darling dears. Living rent free in someone's head. The words, the vitriol that's coming out of their mouths, darling dears. But they don't understand that you're being protected, darling dear, and they're choosing to speak this, but it's going into their own life. They've got nothing but shameless boldness, and they are stuck, stuck on you, darling dears. Reverse root chakra, darling dears. Fight, flight, or freeze mode. Mm -hmm. Unable to manifest, darling dear. Extremely materialistic, but doesn't have the back of it. And if your root chakra is destabilized, it destabilizes everything. That's the base of their everything, darling dear. They're focused on you as you create tower moment after tower moment by living according to your own beat. Wow, you're about to go viral, darling dears. Viral. Make sure you write that on your almanac, that case told you right yeah case from big cat central don't get smoke central mm -hmm. Yo, yeah love abounds darling dears right you sought the truth seven of swords this is about the ruminating thoughts negative thoughts negative energies but it's even your thoughts darling dears you stop beating yourself up mm -hmm. because you're choosing you are choosing the ace of cups darling dears a new beginning, mastering your emotions. This is what is this, the um, foundation for your stability. And you get the wheel of fortune, fake destiny and good luck. It also speaks about distant people as well as distant lands. Mm -hmm. Yeah, world card. Some of you are about to travel, darling dears. Plane trip, unheard Caribbean. It also spoke about going to an island you've never been to before. But this is for rest and recuperation. To what re-energize yourself? This is a well-deserved reward. The sudden change of the tower moment. When you left circumstances and situations behind, people that did not deserve to be in your presence, darling dears, they didn't realize that you was going to bring the tower when you chose you, All right? Lots of lies are being told, darling dear, by those that are still stuck on you in their cranium. They can't get you out of their mind. Good golly and gosh, right? Listen. Two of Pentacles on its face. This is many people, right? Let, let. All they do is focus on you, darling dear. They live and breathe you. Root chakra in the upright manifestation mode. How do you do it? How did you do it? They talk about you a lot. They talking about you, darling dear, because you're a success and you're winning. Like I said, root chakra in the upright, I might add, right? And you're not sharing with them. You don't want to bond with them. You deciding the bonding with them is not fabulous for you. <laughs> you decided, right? Three of cups on its face is toxic. You don't want to work with them, right? What's this? Yeah, no success in that situation. And it was a tight fit. You're also going to hear about someone having health issues, maybe even as far as someone passing, because it comes in juxtaposed to the hangman. Yeah, you're going to hear of someone passing, darling dear. This is quickly from an illness, something to do with their lungs, the air. Viral, virus, viral, yeah. You've got the what? Ace of Swords. Someone who is an effing skin peeling liar. You know that's a lie. Mm -hmm. Messages there. I 
feel inclined to get the let's get the charms and see what the charms are saying we're looking for the big cat the sewing machine because that's about your skrilla your work the hamza where you have to find peace and the dummy back for you know who yeah there you go wow don't know if you can see all of this big cat drop down and get your eagle on big cat because i told you we are looking for the big cat we're looking for the sewing machine. We're looking for the Hamza sign and the dummy bat, right? Let's see where the dummy bat is. Can we see the dummy bat? Hold on a minute. Am I looking too fast or am I looking slow? Here's the dummy bat. Look! Big cat, the dummy bat trying to hide. Here's the dummy bat. Right next to the tower moment in reverse. Next to the moon darling. Dude. They're all in their feelings. There's a lot of fighting and arguments in their relationship situations down in there it's futile stupid arguments right there's a lot of lies being told this is affecting their mental health somebody's i'm hearing bipolar right but it's also somebody having to repress their moods and their words and it's, they can't speak their truth where they are the dummy bat's not having a fabulous time right look at you i said we've got to find the big cat in the sewing machine right you are right next to the sewing machine, your work, your money, your efforts. You are being guided. It's like a stitch in time. Yeah. You are doing fabulous, gorgeous and lovely, darling, dear. You also have temperance above you. You have the Ace of Cups above you for the new beginning. Your cup runneth over. You also have the Ace of Swords, darling, dears. Right? Yes, baby. Understanding, right, that not everybody's allowed to come with you. This cup is in the upright. The sword is in the reverse right you are leaving behind um emotional situations that lack true clarity love support giving and receiving you're no longer allowing that to happen you worked on you it's right next to the big cat haven't seen that before ever the hamza sign is right here in juxtaposed to what the chariot darling dear for your warrior self darling dear your inner warrior this is about forward movement some of your as i said travel is definitely on the cards we have the devil in the reverse next to the fool, right? Somebody obsessed about this new beginning, right? That you manifested right next to the magician. But this is what karma, look, the justice scales all by itself. It's the karma that they need to get, darling, dear. Why? Because you've got the empress. They broke you down next to the high priestess. They broke you down and nearly locked off your intuition, your discernment, your psychic abilities being in that situation. Look, the lovers in the reverse, their intent was to break your break your health, darling dear, and to take your money, Pentacles. Yeah. But divine, divine shine the sun back on your Cairo on your healing. And the judgment is here, darling dears. The judgment is here. The truth that is being revealed is that you are the baddest of them all, darling dear. And you are about to go viral. Yes, baby. You are about to go viral. This is your season. Yeah. They're going to have to pucker up, mate. Yeah, pucker up and go forth and multiply. Right? Like rabbits or rats. Mm -hmm. all of the things that you went through what you overcame you didn't just sit down and cry well you did for a bit until you met me and i told you to go to the mirror and look deep into your eye chakras remember that remember that when you had to get jazz hands and smack the shizna ear out of yourself until blood and spittle flew yeah you had to do all of that darling dear but it, it's a stable foundation something that can't be rocked because of what is in you not on you, darling dears. Imagine that. That's the truth that's being revealed. You're going viral, darling dear. Yeah. You're also about to receive true love's first kiss because it's a divine intervention, one that you truly deserve, right? Rain, darling dear. Let that rain fall on your spiritual enemies. As you continue to drop down and get your eagle on. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Your time is now, big cat. 
Time is also ruled by Saturn, who comes through with what? Discipline and focus. And you did it. You did it, darling, dear. But the cactus also speaks about you backing people off. Yeah, lacking in communication. You remember, full-on isolation is, is dangerous. This time-traveling heifer, right? This hood-looking alfalfa, right? With Lord Voldemort, Voldemort ways. Wants to be a time traveler and come back. Some of you may have been married to this person. You poor soul. At least you've escaped now. That's the main thing. Mm -hmm. If anything, they, that difficult situation it taught you to be what? The divine feminine. The baddest of them all. Mature. The empress. The mother. The nurturer. Yeah. All answers come from within and it was God's plan. What can I say? On that note, I drops me mic. You are about to go viral. Your gifts, darling dears, are about to be showcased. On that note, I drops me mic. Todd love to my Teesprings, Todd love to my Patreon, or simply come back here. And as I always say, don't get smoked. And don't smoke yourself. From the ashes, baby. Namaste. Big Cat Wave. Until we meet again on these current streets. Cat Cat.